Welcome to Pastor Andrew's Inspirations. If you enjoy these videos, please click on the red subscribe button below and the bell for more. Welcome to our online church, a congregation made up of many from around the world. No offering is necessary. Subscribing and watching videos will keep us alive under God's watchful eyes. Today we will be learning about the ancient city of Jerusalem. This is part 9. While many figures specify financial growth in the city, since 1967 East Jerusalem has trailed behind the growth of West Jerusalem. Yet the ratio of households with employed persons is higher from Arab households at 76.1% than for Jewish households at 66.8%. The joblessness rate in Jerusalem at 8.3% is slightly better than the national average of 9%. Although the civilian labor force accounted for less than half of all persons 15 years or older. It is lower in comparison to that of Tel Aviv at 58% and Haifa at 52.4%. Neediness remains a problem in the city. 37% of the families in Jerusalem in 2011 lived below the poverty line. According to a report by the Association for Civil Rights in Israel. 78% of Arabs in Jerusalem lived in poverty in 2012, up from 64% in 2006. While they attribute the increase to the lack of work openings, substructure and a deteriorating scholastic system, Aramim blames the legal status of Palestinians in Jerusalem. Jerusalem has traditionally had a low rise skyline. About 18 tall buildings were built at different times in the downtown area when there was no clear policy over the matter. One of them, Holy Land Tower 1, Jerusalem's tallest building, is a skyscraper by international standards rising 32 stories. Holy Land Tower 2, which has been approved for construction, will reach the same height. A new master plan for the city will see many high-rise buildings, including skyscrapers built in certain designated areas of downtown Jerusalem. Under the plan, Towers will line Jaffa Road and King George Street. One of the proposed towers along King George Street is the Migdal Merkaz Hayekum. It is planned as a 65-story building, which would make it one of the tallest buildings in Israel. At the entrance to the city near the Jerusalem Cords Bridge and the Central Bus Station. Twelve towers rising between 24 and 33 stories will, will be built as part of a complex that will also include an open square and an underground train station serving a new express line between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. It will be connected by bridges and tunnels. Eleven of the skyscrapers will be either office or apartment buildings, and one will be two thousand will be a two thousand room hotel. The complex is expected to attract many businesses from Tel Aviv, becoming the city's main business hub. In addition, a complex for the city's courts and the prosecutor's office will be built, as well as new buildings for Central Zionist Archives and Israel State Archive. The skyscrapers built throughout the city are expected to contain public space shops, 
restaurants and entertainment venues, which may lead to a revitalization of downtown Jerusalem. In August 2015, the City Council approved construction of a 344-foot pyramid-shaped skyscraper designed by Daniel Lebeskind and Yigal Levy. It is set to break ground by 2019. Jerusalem is served by highly developed communication infrastructures, making it a leading logistics hub for Israel. The Jerusalem Central Bus Station located on Jaffa Road is the busiest bus station in Israel. It is served by Egged Bus Corporated, the second largest bus company in the world. The Dan serves the Benai Brak Jerusalem route along the Egged. Superbus serves the routes between Jerusalem, Modin Elite, and Modin Maccabim Reu. The companies operate from Jerusalem Central Bus Station. Arab neighborhoods in East Jerusalem, routes between Jerusalem and locations in the West Bank, are served by the East Jerusalem Central Bus Station, a transportation hub located near the Old City's Damascus Gate. The Jerusalem Light Rail initiated service in August 2011. According to plans, the first rail line was capable of transporting an estimated 200,000 people daily. It has 23 shops. The route is from Piscat Ziv in the north via the Old City and City Center to Mount Herzl in the south. Another work in progress is a new high-speed rail line from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem becoming partially operational in 2018 and was expected to be completed in 2019. Its terminus will be a new underground station 262 feet deep serving the International Convention Center and the Central Bus Station. It is planned to be extended eventually to Melha Station. Israel Railways operates train services to Mala train station from Tel Aviv via Beit Shemesh. Begin Expressway is one of Jerusalem's major north-south thoroughfares. It runs on the western side of the city, merging in the north with Route 443, which continues toward Tel Aviv. Route 60 runs through the center of the city near the green line between East and West Jerusalem. Construction is rolling on parts of a 22 mile ring road around the city, nurturing faster connection between the suburbs. The eastern half of the project was theorized decades ago, but reaction to the planned highway is still mixed. Jerusalem is served by Ben Gurion Airport, some 30 miles northwest of Jerusalem, on the route to Tel Aviv. The Tel Aviv Jerusalem Railway runs non stop from Jerusalem Yetzak Navan Railway Station to the airport and began operation in 2018. In the past, Jerusalem was also served by the local Adaro Airport. Adaro seized operation in 2000. Universities. Jerusalem is home to several prominent universities, offering courses in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. Founded in 1925, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem was ranked among the top 100 schools in the world. The Board of Governors has included such prominent Jewish intellectuals as Albert Einstein and Sigmund Freud. The university has produced several Nobel laureates. Recent winners associated with Hebrew University include Avram Hershko, David Gross, and Daniel Kahneman.
One of the university's major assets is the Jewish National and University Library. This building houses over five million books. The library opened in 1892, over three decades before the university was established. It is one of the oldest, largest repositories of books on Jewish subjects. Today it is both the Central Library and the University and the National Library of Israel. The Hebrew University operates three campuses in Jerusalem on Mount Scopus, on Givat Ram, and a medical campus at the Habasa Ein Kerem Hospital. The Academy of the Hebrew Language is located in the Hebrew University in Givat Ram. The Israel Academy of Sciences and the Humanities is located near the President's House. This was the ancient city of Jerusalem, Part 9. Please stay tuned for Part 10. Adonai Nisi, the Lord, is our banner. Remember, if you like these videos, please click on the subscribe button below and the bell for more. God's blessings be upon this message and us all.